All right, what's going on, guys? Digidestin here, and uh, this isn't a pickup video. This is a gameplay video. Um, so I figured that uh, since I got my computer all built, I upgraded my microphone and and camera and all that fun stuff, the lighting and everything. I figured I'd get back into playing some games for you guys, and uh, this is it. So uh, we're coming up on Halloween, or Halloween is just right around the corner, and I figured I'd play something themed after something scary, so I decided to pick up Castlevania, as you can see from the image below me. Uh, Castlevania is actually one of my favorite Konami games, one of my favorite games on NES in general, and um, you know, every single year around Halloween I decide that I should play it. So now that I'm unpaused, let's go ahead and continue playing. Alright. So what's funny about this game is I actually started playing it because I saw it on Game Grumps when uh, John Tron and, and Eagle Raptor Aaron uh, were playing it and they made it look so easy that I was I was thinking to myself oh yeah I can do that and so um, one day I actually tracked it down uh, for my collection and tried to beat it and while while I was watching the Game Grunts uh, episodes and it just so happens that you know I was able to beat it and because of that uh, it was one of my uh, first quote unquote hard games that I ended up beating. And so ever since then I loved Castlevania. Uh, it's one of my favorite series in general. Is there no music? Where's the music? Huh. Oh, there's no music. This is so odd. Maybe... Maybe I'll wait until I get to the next corner. So this game is incredibly hard, uh, as most people would know. Um, it's not too bad if you play it enough. Uh, I'm not saying I'm a pro or anything, but uh, this is a game that I'm somewhat familiar with enough so that I can play it confidently and maybe beat it in one session. So hopefully I should be able to achieve that. Uh, what's th really throwing me off is the lack of music. It's just so quiet. So it's the first level here. We're uh, getting into Dracula's castle, and uh, for if, if you don't know, oh, that was poorly timed jump. Uh, I play as Simon Belmont, and so every 100 or so years, Dracula rises from the grave, from the dead, and so if you look at the top there, that little black bat, that's the boss. Um, but he rises from the dead, and then the Belmont clan has... Oh, there's some music. Has to take care of it. So, actually, I actually haven't played this in a long time. And I might even die here. No, don't go up the stairs. Um, oh, that's it. Uh, I guess I didn't die there. <laughs> Alright, so finally we have some music, which is great. That was kind of throwing me off. Alright, so that's the first level down. Uh, I didn't lose any lives, which is good. I believe the next one is Medusa, which who is fairly, fairly easy. Uh, there's only like four or five levels in this. There we go with the music. And 
that's another thing. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Game Grumps. Um, and this is they're the reason why I, I got into this game and why it's one of my favorite games. Um, but it's the music that really caught me. You know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of platformers. But I'm also a huge fan of video game music. And so the music was so great that, you know, it just, it just hooked me on the whole franchise. So. And plus, you play a vampire killer. I mean, who doesn't want to slay vampires, you know? And what's, what's also nice is, um, this is just one of those games that everyone says is a challenge. And uh, I'm not saying it's not challenging. I'm just saying that it's. I'm happy to be able to say that I've beaten this game. I mean, it took me a lot of tries, especially when it came to Dracula. But maybe, who knows? I don't know if I even get to him in this. <clears throat> I might just rage quit. So what's cool about this next part is, uh, if you fall, you're gonna die, and these Medusa heads uh, are gonna come at you, right? And uh, what I like to do, uh, if I can get it right, is oh, I died there. Um, you mean you you saw me jump into that Medusa head, and I did that on purpose because uh, sometimes I can get away with getting hit with the Medusa head, and instead of going all the way to the right and then going all the way back to the left. I can um, just use the Medusa head, take the hit, and uh, get booted right up to whoops, uh, the next platform without having to go having to go all the way to the to the right then the left. But since I'm kind of rusty, uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and go through the the whole platforming here. Oh no no no! Um, it's my last life already. And as you can see, if, if you've never played Castlevania, it's very un unforgiving in terms of uh, jump arc. Uh, once I jump and move forward, you're pretty much set in in that arc there. So I'm jumping between the two pillars. And you can see I'm not pushing any buttons or directions when I'm doing that. You're just set in that pattern or that uh, that arc. And so if you get hit, uh, same thing, you're, you're stuck in that arc, uh, you get knocked back. Um, if you commit to your jump, you're knocked back. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of, oh no, that's what makes the game kind of hard. So I don't want to commit to this jump yet because there's this guy here. Now I can, if I can get that candle. I think there's there's something here, or is it up there? Maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, so that was a kill all. There, so chicken or ham? I don't know what it is exactly, honestly, um, but it does give me life. The hearts, surprisingly, when I first played this, um, were a surprise because I thought they would give me heart or uh, life. Or it's my life bar. But they don't. Uh, they just add to uh, your special attacks. So, uh, so you have the the watch up there. I'll probably be using that in the next scene um, or in the next part of the level because I want to freeze time. So as soon as you enter this here, there should be chicken there. Replenish any life that you've lost, and uh, the money bags are just for points. But this part is actually surprisingly hard to time because of Simon's jump. Um, the arc is pretty weird. So what I'm going to do is push up and B. And that freezes time for a bit. And that way I can just walk right through without getting hurt. I'll do the same thing here. And there's a guy, that a little ghost that pops up here. So. I'm on that bat. Second level weapon upgrade. And with the... If I can keep this, this stopwatch, it's going to make beating Medusa really easy. 
I always like the sound of, of actually hitting stuff. So. Oh. It's also cool as you can just hit the fireballs away. It's like, yeah, whatever. Forget your fireballs. Alright. So, just be careful with these hearts. Sometimes they'll give you uh, new weapons. But you don't want those. Because you want the stopwatch for this part. So now we're at the boss. It's Medusa. So what I'm going to do is freeze her and just go at it. And that is the second boss. There we go. And I got a, a one up. That's awesome. Because I lost too many lives in the last one. Where are we at? We're at 11 minutes already. Wow. Maybe I'll just to, you know, chop this up into a couple episodes. Um, I think this is a good place to end it. And uh, yeah, I mean, thanks for watching uh, my very first gameplay video since I got my new hardware and everything. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of my gameplay and since i'm getting back into it i'm a little rusty at castlevania but um yeah this is this is something I, i'm really enjoying and this is something that i've been wanting to do for a while i've been telling you guys that more is coming and uh you know this is the start of it so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and please check out my other videos i probably have more castlevania coming for you guys